Okay, go ahead and start rolling because Mr. Wonderful had to let his beautiful lady in the house because as you're all aware, or in case you're not, Mr. Wonderful is about to go on a lunch date with one of the beautiful cheerleaders. So you know I got to keep going when it comes to this fifth and final finale when it comes to this specific segment, right? We are talking about the Nike Air Max ones, right? Some of the fucking gems that I have in my collection in back of me, the FC Sneaker Factory. As you can see, Mr. Wonderful is looking amazing as always. The hair is done. The fit's always on point when it comes to Mr. Wonderful. And when it comes to me always delivering in front of the camera. But most importantly, I got you beautiful people out there, the fellas. And those beautiful ladies that I call my cheerleaders. And I have one of them out there waiting for me right now. But welcome on in. Those doors are officially open for you beautiful people out there to come on in. Come on into the FC Sneaker Factory. And come on into this fifth and final finale when it comes to this specific segment, right? We have touched on a live. Oh, my last live that I did back in last year, March 16, 2021. Oh, I'm shedding a tear because it actually an end of an era when it came to my lives that I used to do every Thursday. Obviously, I wasn't getting the views that I so gratefully deserved on those, so I cut them off. And I decided to do profiles on all my shoes when it comes to my sneaker factory, when it comes to my specific collection, right? People always, or sometimes people hit me up and they say, Mr. Wonderful Floyd, do a collection video but why why would i do that because i'm doing this every fucking day for you people out there right i'm delivering a shoe to you that you guys can see closely see what's in my fc sneaker factory what's inside my collection i'm giving that to you every day delivering content every day whether if it's a short whether it's a profile whether if it's a floyd's pickup Delivering content. You're never fucking bored when it comes to the FC Sneaker Factory and Mr. Wonderful. I'm always delivering you great content, but even amazing delivery that only Mr. Wonderful delivers, right? When it comes to the sneaker genre, when it comes to YouTube. I'm only the one that's actually dropping you the knowledge and dropping and being fucking up front with all of you people out there. Whether you guys are wanting the whole sugar coating of, of content uh, of sneakers i mean if that's what you're into uh, you must be like fucking five years old or ten years old must not being used to hearing cussing must not being used to being in the real world because this is what the real world is it's cutthroat right it's giving you content the only the way that a mature audience should be getting it so i don't know what the fuck is going on out there and in, in, in youtube I don't know if I'm not getting the push because I cuss on my channel, but that's just the real fucking world. So you better either get get used to it or get the fuck, get, get out, get, get out of it. And it's going to be hard for you to get out of, out of this world because this is the world that we're living in. And Mr. Wonderful is not only, is only going to give it to you how Mr. Wonderful get, delivers it to you. And that's the real, and that's the fucking authentic. Because guess what? You are in the FC fucking sneaker factory. So enough about that. Like I said, I got to go on this date. So I, I want to hurry up and deliver this shoe to you. But before that, I have to do this fifth and final fit check. Because if you you weren't tuning in these past four times, I don't know what the hell's wrong with you. But I'm glad you're tuning in now. So let's go ahead and go into this fit check. The lady, the beautiful cheerleader out there. Obviously loved it. She says, man, you look amazing. And it, I mean, the weather's gloomy and it's summertime. We're having a late winter when it comes to California, but I still dress the fucking part and I'm still looking amazing. And it's not that cold, but it is cold enough for a windbreaker. So that's what I decided to do. Okay, so I am rocking a nice, very light pink Keth box logo i don't know if they make these anymore i haven't seen them in a very long time but this is a box logo cat t with this nice crooks and castle who remembers that brand crooks and castle this is a nice windbreaker navy blue 
with the white stripes. But let me stand up in front of you so you can get the entire fit by I'm rocking some nice light blue denim. And I probably will be wearing some Air Max ones, the off-white ones, the khaki color ones, because that has a slight pink hit in them. And I feel like it's going to bring the outfit all together. But I'll, I'll, I'll show the beautiful lady out there and let her decide what if that's going to look appropriate on Mr. Wonderful. But what the hell am I seeing? I wear whatever the fuck I want to wear. I beat to my own drum. The beat, I beat to my own drum when it comes to this channel. I beat to my own drum when it comes to my life. And that's just how I live it. Okay, so here we go. Sneaker profiles, 205, right? 205. Before we take a look at this beautiful shoe, and in case you skipped ahead and actually watched that live, you know exactly what I'm delivering. In case you are illiterate and can read, you know what I'm actually delivering, so I know why you're tuning in. But let's take a look at this box. Nothing special about the box. You got that standard, that orange, right? The red-orange box with the white Nike hits throughout the entire box. Just your general box. But this is an actual collaboration. So that, that's pretty crazy. But you see that the Nike Air Max 1 Premium Retro, because this is a retro, retail price $150, size 10 and a half, how Mr. Wonderful always brings it. But you do got that medium gray clear jade black right here. Now let's take a look at the interior part of the box. Nothing special, but I do have a receipt because the purchase, the person that I purchased this from, he bought it from Keth. And it looks like he lives in New Jersey. So it looks like it was an online purchase because I have the receipt right there. Uh, Chris Rodriguez actually left his name on there. But I appreciate the deal on this one. This I purchased this a long time ago. Pre-stock X days when it came to this one. But let's talk about the shoe though. Okay, so I had the original. I actually purchased the original way back when. Long ass time ago. Dead stock. Kept it dead stock. Purchased it on eBay. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to wear it. I, I bought it with the intentions of wearing. Just like I buy all my shoes. With the intentions of wearing. But I didn't wear it, so I was like, you know what? I think I bought it for like three, four hundred dollars, and I let it go. I let it go, and I actually sold it for like over a thousand dollars. And this was a long time ago. This was like probably one of my most money that I ever made on a shoe back then. I want to say this was like two thousand eight, around that time frame. But I sold it, let it go, and then. They did a retro, right? They revisited. They came out with the shoe again. And then I was like, you know, I got to buy it because I missed that shoe. I wasn't going to. I mean, it, at that time, it was impossible to find that shoe in dead stock in a 10 and a half when I when I sold it or when I originally sold it. So when I saw that they were re-releasing re the shoe, I was just more than happy. Knew that I really wanted it. Knew that I had to have it. So picked it up. Didn't. I wasn't able to get it for retail. Had to go to the eBay market again and pick it up. And here we go. Sneaker profiles. 205 right here. This is an Atmos collaboration. The Nike Air Max 1. Atmos Elephant Print Retro right here. Originally released back in 2007. So I must have sold it around 2010, around that time frame. This version was released on Right here, this one right here. This particular retro was released back on March 26, 2017 for a retail price of $150. This was a collaboration with Atmos. Like I said before, it is a Japanese boutique and the prime feature on this shoe. We are talking about that elephant print, that jade branding throughout the shoe right here. Now let's talk about this gorgeous shoe. My favorite Air Max 1 in my collection. Gorgeous shoe. Here we go. All right, closer look. So you do got that beautiful white leather going on in the toe box. I love it, of course. I'm a huge fan. My favorite Jordan model is the 3. So you know I'm a huge fan of the elephant print. But you got that elephant print throughout the shoe. But you do got this black, beautiful suede that goes throughout the shoe as well right here. That we're looking on on the medial part and in this gorgeous jade swoosh. And it is in that patent leather right there. More of that black suede right here. Love it. And then, of course, you got that elephant print going above 
are right on the ankle support of the shoe and then you do have that beautiful black suede that goes throughout the shoelaces okay so on this one looks like we have a black air unit but right here though this is not white it's kind of like a off-white color it's not like a solid white not like this this is white this is more like a kind of like a, a off-white type color midsole and then of course on the rear part of the shoe right here the nike embroidered nike air embroidered on the rear in that jade color but you do have that nice cement print on the ankle or on right there where the ankle support is but also below the rear part of the shoe so let's take a look at the rear or uh, the medial the medial side is exactly the same as the lateral side nothing's changed you do got that elephant print right here elephant print up on the ankle support you got that beautiful black suede right here going throughout this shoe it's that that weird suede where you you could see the brush strokes on it so it's a nice quality uh, suede but all throughout here on the shoelaces the same as the lateral part and then this beautiful jade swoosh right in that metallic or not metallic but that pant leather material and then right here you do got that nice white leather that goes throughout the on top of the toe box but then you have that beautiful elephant print right here i love it more of that not white but it kind of like an off-white color on the medial or uh, the midsole and then you do got that black swoosh when it comes to the air unit now let's take a look at the outsole haven't worn it beautiful black outsole i love that though easy to wear glad that i'm doing this profile so maybe i can actually wear this gorgeous shoe but of course my favorite part of the shoe let's take a look at that aerial view right here the aerial view is where it's at beautiful white toe box that beautiful black suede right that goes throughout the shoelaces the shoelaces are black beautiful suede loop right there when it comes to the shoelaces and then of course you got that nice black tag but that jade color nike and swoosh and the air max on the tag and of course that beautiful black ankle support the collar and in that nice white insole with the jade nike air on well it actually says air one right there for um for the insole so gorgeous right kind of don't like the white insole because as soon as you put like a pair of socks on it's going to get it dirty so if i ever do wear this i'm definitely going to wear a brand new pair of socks so that will not happen right there gorgeous shoe though gorgeous shoe love this shoe i loved it back in 2007 and i love it now right now that we're in 2023 i loved it in 2017 when it re-retroed out but i love this shoe gorgeous shoe is this in your collection let me know drop a comment down below i mean did you ever want this in the collection i feel like when they retro this shoe not too many people i mean the price was still high but it wasn't like crazy like how the original was right so i feel like a lot of people did sleep on this when it did re-release uh, re but i mean shame on you for doing that this is just a gorgeous shoe i knew when i saw this when i knew when it first when it was going to come out again i knew i had to have it and i was willing to pay that ultimate price for it i want to say i paid like three four hundred dollars for that shoe now who knows where this is at i mean the original was up there when i sold it and now we're talking about like 2010, 2011 was when I actually sold that shoe. Gorgeous shoe, right? Gorgeous shoe. But you know what? I know I hate, I, I know you hate to see it, but this is the end of the segment, right? That is the conclusion of Sneaker Profiles 205. The book, I'm trying to find the page right now, but here it is. 205 pages of amazing catalog of shoes. And it is closed on this one. If you haven't checked out all my profiles, I suggest you take your ass, go back to the beginning and watch them. Those oh, some of the content in the beginning, though. Bear with me. I do. I got to do those those silver box SBs over again because the ums and ahs that were going on in that. I apologize. I was still new, but now Mr. Wonderful has perfected his craft, and he does not or he very minimizes those when it comes to those sounds. But Mr. Wonderful is always looking amazing, 
always coming in with that great content, always coming in with an amazing delivery. But you know what? Just like this lady is going to find out, I'm always going to hear those beautiful words that I hear at every single end of the segment, every single profile. I always hear those beautiful words. But in a couple of days, you'll be seeing me all over again in a brand new fit in something that you never seen me before. Always looking amazing in front of the camera, always delivering you that beautiful content, right? And yes, I understand we do not have the numbers right now. The subscribers are low. The views are low. The thumb not, thumbs up are very low. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that. But at the end of the day, the battle continues to go on. And you know what? At the end of the day, you will see exactly the fellas out there and those beautiful ladies that I call my cheerleaders will exactly see. And I will definitely separate myself from all those other fucking suckers. And you will see exactly who's Mr. Wonderful and who are all these fucking wannabes when it comes to the sneaker genre on YouTube. Because YouTube is my fucking pedestal. And the sneaker game, it is definitely my playground. Tune in in a couple of days and you'll get a brand new segment. I'm not sure what I'm about to deliver you, but you know it's going to be amazing as always. And I appreciate you for being faithful to Mr. Wonderful and being faithful to this fucking channel. I'll see you in a couple of days, but just like I know what I'm going to be hearing from you and from all the other beautiful ladies out there. Oh, my cheerleaders. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, Mr. Wonderful Floyd, you are too. Damn. Sweet.